Pouton. Please be seated. Le président. Veuillez vous asseoir. On Reprise de l'audience. The court is now back in session. Once again, the floor is given to Judge La Lavagne to put the questions to this witness. Do you may proceed, Judge. À interroger le témoin. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank Donc, you, Mr. je President. vais demander s'il est possible maintenant de euh, présenter à l'écran les quatre photos dont j'ai parlé tout à l'heure. En commençant peut-être par la photo E190.1.143. Voilà, madame. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si vous reconnaissez quelqu'un sur cette photo Could you please tell us whether you know anyone on this photograph In this photo, I recognize Je reconnais Kyu Sampan et Yang Sari sur cette photo. Voilà, donc, a priori, il participe à ce qu'on appelle un banquet. Et a priori, ils ont plutôt l'air bien portants et en bonne santé, notamment ce qui concerne M. Yang Sari. Alors, je ne sais pas si on peut revoir la photo à nouveau à l'écran, mais sauf erreur de ma part, M. Yang Sari était le second en partant de la gauche. M. Yang Sari était le second from the left on that photograph. Donc, M. Yang Sari est-il bien le second well. en partant de la gauche Mr. Yang Sari was indeed the second from the left, isn't it Yes. Effectivement. Et votre mari était-il au milieu And was your husband in the middle Yes, that is correct. Exact. Alors, on va passer à une autre photo, qui est la photo E190.1.178. Voilà, donc euh, s'il est possible de conserver la photo à l'écran, et pouvez-vous me dire, madame, si vous reconnaissez certaines personnes sur cette photo I recognize uh, Je reconnais Kyo Sampon. Kyo Sampon. I, 
And uh, another person is uh, probably uh, Luanchi, although I'm not 100% sure. Et il y a une sure. autre personne qui doit être Luanchea, même oui. si je n'en suis pas absolument certaine. Alors, il semble que effectivement Nunchia se trouve complètement sur la droite. Et au euh, milieu se trouve effectivement right. votre mari assis And sur un canapé ou sur un fauteuil. Voilà, donc une autre photo, la photo E190.1.82. The other photograph is E190.1 voilà, même question. Est-ce que vous reconnaissez certaines personnes sur cette photo question. Do you recognize anyone on this photograph Je reconnais Yang Sari et Kyo Sampo. Voilà, donc effectivement, c'est ce qui correspond à la description de la photo. Et euh, une dernière photo qui est la photo E190.1.122. Voilà, qui reconnaissez-vous cette photo There we are. Who do you recognize on that photograph uh, Look his I recognize Yang Sari. est complètement sur la gauche et Yang Sari était au milieu. Voilà, donc madame, euh, yes, vous avez dit tout à l'heure que votre mari ne vous avait pas indiqué qu'il avait participé à des banquets, qu'il avait eu l'occasion de faire des bons repas. Vous maintenez ce que vous avez dit tout à l'heure Je maintiens car je n'étais pas au courant de fêtes de ce type. Alors, je voudrais maintenant qu'on en vienne un petit peu à, à l'ambiance qui euh, existait à K1 et K3. Je parle de l'ambiance de travail et les relations qui peuvent exister entre Kyo Sampan, M. Nunchea, Pol Pot ou Yang Sari, ou d'autres personnes qui étaient à K1 et K3. Est-ce que c'était une ambiance qui était plutôt euh, détendue Est-ce que euh, vous avez vu ces personnes euh, euh, se mettre en colère, être en désaccord Est-ce que votre mari a dit qu'il avait peur, qu'il avait Did des craintes Quelle était l'ambiance Nobody was fearful. Une ambiance était normale, personne n'avait peur. Alors, j'aimerais vous lire un extrait d'un livre écrit Thank par you. votre mari. Like Il s'agit du document E3-18. E3 Ce livre s'intitule « L'histoire récente du, Com du Cambodge » et mes prises de position. Il s'agit d'un extrait qui se trouve à l'ERN en français 00 59 54 36 à 37 et en anglais 00 10 37 54 à 55. Je suis désolé, je n'ai pas l'ERN en Khmer. Monsieur Kiosampan, décrit les réunions du comité permanent auquel il a assisté. Et il les décrit comme étant comparables à des réunions de camarades ou à des réunions de famille. Il ajoute, et là je cite, 
Il arrivait même très souvent que ces réunions glissent pendant de longs moments sur une plaisanterie. Alors, la première question, est-ce que quand M. Kiosampan rentrait de son travail, il vous racontait les plaisanteries qu'il avait pu entendre And that uh, some of they made a joke et about this, or about that, about the selling uh, watermelon. That some of they made a profit uh, from selling a watermelon, but de de there were no other major things. Rien de bien plus yes, uh, there were a lot of jokes, but I oui, cannot recall all the jokes. Mais je me pas de chacune de ces blagues. Bien. Il continue right. sa description et il dit ceci. Plus tard, même après l'arrestation d'un des membres du comité central et plus tard encore d'un des membres du bureau permanent, la confiance en Pol Pot ne semblait pas s'en ressentir. Chacune de ces disparitions semblait perçue comme un cas unique et probablement aux yeux de ceux qui étaient dans la confidence justifiés. Alors, est-ce que votre mari vous a fait part de quelques réflexions quand l'un ou l'autre des personnes de votre entourage disparaissait Il m'a dit qu'il a parlé de Hunum et de Hunum, qui étaient des amis proches. Et il a dit que les vérités ne devraient pas disparaître. Et il a dit que ces deux n'auraient pas dû disparaître. Et pourquoi il n'aurait pas dû disparaître Et qu'est-ce que ça voulait dire disparaître Why shouldn't the person Ça voulait dire quoi disparaître Disappearing actually mean. Well, no, uh, min kiam man man chap arom a room. I did not pay much attention to disappearance je ne faisais pas vraiment because attention à everybody had his or her respective place to stay and Chacun I did not know whether they went here or there or they went to work elsewhere. Ça vous intéressait de savoir ce que devenaient les amis de votre mari Did you have any interest in knowing what happened to your husband's friends ou est-ce que ça ne vous intéressait pas plus que de savoir ce que devenaient les membres de votre belle famille il se rappelait les événements et se demandait he pourquoi ça s'était produit. Il that. se questionnait et m'en a parlé. So et so. Il se demandait pourquoi un tel ou un tel. And he did not speak about anything else. Et il n'a pas parlé d'autre chose. Alors parlons maintenant un petit peu de votre propre famille, madame. 
Vous nous avez dit que vous êtes originaire d'une région qui, au moment du Kampucha démocratique, s'appelait le secteur 103. Avez-vous été informé de l'existence de purges dans le secteur 103 Avez-vous été informé de l'arrestation de certains membres de votre famille Avez-vous été informé des mauvais traitements qui ont pu leur être infligés et si oui, comment en avez-vous été informé Even the fact about my family members, I did not même, know about the arrest. Je n'étais pas au courant de leurs arrestations. Only one year later, Et ce n'est qu'un an plus tard, I learned about it. que j'en ai eu connaissance. Quand était-ce? When? Et comment l'avez-vous su? Was that? And how did you find out? One day, they were released, and Un jour, ils ont été it was in 1978, it almost the time that the Vietnamese one of my relatives who were detained uh, was actually previously worked uh, at K1. Un des membres de ma famille qui avait été arrêté et qui avait déjà travaillé à K1. I was told that my elder relative had been arrested and placed at the Khmer. And I asked Khmer. who that person was. And I was told there were elder and younger brothers and other cousins who were arrested and I learned about that at the time. Et je été et je l'ai appris à ce moment-là. Je vais donner lecture madame d'un extrait de l'ouvrage de votre mari. I'm going to read Côte E3 bar 18 l'histoire récente du Cambodge et mes prises de position. ERN en français 00 59 55 13 ERN en anglais 00 10 37 93. Dans cet ouvrage votre mari indique que c'est vous qui êtes venu tout en larmes lui faire le récit des atrocités qui avaient été commises à l'encontre de vos frères et d'autres parents de votre famille. Est-ce que c'est comme cela que cela s'est passé Je pense qu'on a encore un problème de communication. Je n'ai pas eu la traduction de votre réponse. Mais je comprends que vous disiez oui, mais je suis pas sûr que vous disiez oui, mais je que vous pouvez répéter votre réponse. Je vais répéter Oui, c'est exact. Et ceci, ça se passait, selon vous, avant la libération des membres de votre famille après
It was after the release of my family members, including my parents. My parents were also arrested. My parents were also arrested. Donc, vous avez appris so, que votre famille, des membres, found out votre, vos parents, des membres proches de votre famille, ont été arrêtés. Et vous avez appris en même temps qu'ils avaient été libérés. And, Donc, vous nous dites you that they que, so que Sampan, selon vous, il est intervenu ou pas intervenu pour faire libérer you, les membres de votre famille uh, Or are you, in fact, not saying that? At that time, my husband did not intervene. But in fact, a personnel from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs who went to work in Siemria and saw the people who were sweeping the road of a que les gens qui étaient sur le bord des routes and étaient machétiques et they had questions about their appearance à propos de leur apparence et ça je l'ai su plus tard and uh, especially during the period that the, the Vietnamese Surtout arrived as we gathered around and we spoke about what happened la période où les Vietnamiens sont arrivés que nous nous sommes rassemblés que nous avons discuté de ce qui s'était passé and they said that frequently they saw Ils ont dit what happened and then they vous avez vu ce qui s'est passé quand j'ai dit qu'il, je parle à ces gens du ministère des Affaires étrangères et qu'ils ont fait rapport à Pol Pot et Pol Pot, ils ont demandé à ce qu'une enquête soit faite sur la question. Et c'est à ce moment-là que tout le monde a été remis en liberté, y compris les membres de ma famille. Et à ce moment-là, j'ai en fait went to Takmao without the knowledge of my husband. I went with a driver who was transporting goods uh, to, to that direction. Des, uh, and I saw a lot of direction. people. Vu they were emaciated. And they were given food and rice. On a donné de la nourriture, du riz. And there, there were hundreds of them. Ils étaient des centaines. And my family members were amongst them. Et les membres de ma famille étaient du nombre. Est-ce que votre mari avait reçu des informations de la part des membres du personnel du ministère des Affaires étrangères qu'il n'a pas partagé avec vous des informations concernant le, les mauvais traitements imposés aux gens dans la zone de Siemrep Upon my return, I cried and I asked him what happened, whether he knew about it or not. Ce qui s'était passé, s'il était au courant. He said that he not even heard about it. Il a dit qu'il n'en avait jamais entendu parler. Let alone knowing about it. And et qu'il n'en savait rien. He said he did not even know what his close colleagues did or where they went. Il dit ne pas être au courant de même de ce que faisaient ses proches collègues. He said that he did not know anything about that. Il a dit qu'il n'en savait rien. And he asked, actually, who actually made the arrest? Et il a demandé qui avait procédé à l'arrestation. And whether I knew about it, that's what he asked me. Et si je le savais moi, c'est ce qu'il m'a demandé. Donc, pour avoir des informations sur ce qui se passait au Cambodge, so sur la réalité de mauvais traitements, c'était à vous qu'il s'adressait et ce n'était pas à Pol Pot, à Nun Chea ou à ses autres correspondants. My apology, could you please repeat your question? Pouvez-vous répéter la question? I cannot hear your question Je pas properly. Bien entendu votre question. Je disais donc, Madame, si j'ai bien Adam, compris I vos réponses, que votre mari pourrait être informé 
de ce qu'il se passait au Cambodge, des mauvais traitements éventuels subis par une partie de la population. C'est à vous qui n'avez que pour fonction de faire la cuisine qu'il fallait qu'il s'adresse pour avoir des informations. Il n'en recevait aucune. Par d'autres canaux, il n'en recevait aucune des personnes qu'il avait à fréquenter tous les jours. Il s'appelait Pol Pot, Il ne recevait aucun télégramme. Il ne recevait aucune information. Sauf les vôtres. Except from you. Because at that time, I told him and that because he did not know about Je it. Lui ai dit, et il pas au I did not know whether some of the people or network they knew about it, but Je he himself si seemed not to courant, know about lui, it, and he asked me those questions. Si m'a posé ces questions là. And I told him what I was told by my dit, family members. Ce que les de ma dit. Voilà, donc aux fins d'inscription au registre de l'audience, j'indique que nous avons au dossier un document qui est le procès-verbal d'audition de M. Measven, document E3-424 qui parle d'un rapport qui a été effectué à Kyosampan par Telegram. Nous avons euh, également un procès-verbal d'audition E3-420 d'un autre témoin que nous avons entendu qui s'appelle Prumsu. Donc, euh, vous n'avez jamais entendu parler de télégramme adressé à M. Kiosampan Bien. Avez-vous entendu parler de l'arrestation de personnes qui s'appelaient Chuchet Koitoun. Koitoun. Pang. Pang. Dun. Dun. Tib Hall. Tib Hall. Vous avez entendu parler d'arrestation Did you ever hear about Quand vous étiez à K1 ou K3 I did not know about these uh, people that you uh, Je ne spoke about. Connais pas ces personnes dont vous parlez. Avez-vous entendu dire qu'il y avait des ennemis? Did you ever hear talk of des ennemis à l'intérieur ou à l'extérieur des rangs? Des ennemis qui rongeaient de l'intérieur. Vous avez entendu dire qu'il y avait des ennemis qu'il fallait purger. Il parlait de faire preuve de vigilance. And not to Reveal secrecy de ne pas trahir le secret. Because there were enemies who were attempt, attempting Car to destroy us, des and des for that reason we had to be vigilant. But when you spoke vigilant. about the inside or outside of rank, that's beyond my knowledge at the time. Hors de mes Bien, merci, Monsieur le Président. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions. Monsieur le Président, merci beaucoup. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions pour cette witness. Président, merci, Monsieur le Juge. Merci, Monsieur le Juge. Le floor est maintenant donné à la de prosecution pour poser des questions à cette witness. Je vais procéder. Vous avez la parole.
May it please you, Mr. President. Your Honours. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Good morning. Madame good morning to my fellow council. Okay, bonjour, and good friends. morning to you, Madame So Sotiet. Bonjour, Madame So Sotiet. In the last 15 minutes or so, you have given Au cours this des evidence. 15 dernières minutes, vous avez dit les chaussures. That you had a direct face-to-face -face conversation, d'avoir une conversation with your en fait, husband, avec votre mari, about two people called Hu Yun de and Hu Yun Nim. Et Hu Nim. That he told you that they had disappeared. Vous avez témoigné qu'il vous a dit and that qu they should not have disappeared. Et qu'ils n'auraient pas dû disparaître. When did that conversation take place? Pouvez-vous nous dire quand cette conversation a eu lieu? I cannot really call the exact date, but it was at a later stage plus tard. when we heard the news about the mass arrest and about the Quand killing. On a des so des he et des and exécutions. I spoke about that. Nous en avons discuté. And he actually told me after the arrival of the, the Vietnamese il, in Phnom Penh. Dit après des en Phnom Penh. And he did not tell me anything about that prior to that period Et of time. Pas parlé avant. Your husband Question. has told you in the context of mass arrests and killings Votre mari vous a dit. that he was aware Dans le contexte that Hu Nim and Hu Yun masse, au courant, had been arrested and Hu disappeared. Is that disparu. correct? Is exact? Allow me to clarify. Permettez moi de spoke to me about that later on. But regarding the mass arrest earlier, he knew about that later on, and he only told me about that at a later stage. En masse, il en a eu connaissance par la suite, you, et il en a parlé that. plus tard. When he told you later Merci. on, quand il vous en a parlé, did he say who had ordered the arrest of Hu Nim and Hu Yun? He did not tell me who actually ordered their arrest. But you're quite clear that he told you to your face that they should not have been arrested. Is that correct? Yes, exactly. Yes, it is. Oui. Why should they not Question. have been arrested? Et pourquoi? Did he say? Ne devait-il pas être, avoir été arrêté? N'aurait-il pas dû être arrêté? Sur un interprète. Vous l'a-t-il dit? As he Réponse. told me, they came from the headship together and that now they disappeared. Ensemble. So he did not understand what they, they did, why they disappeared. Ne pas ce that was fait all he told me. Ils and ce I, I myself did not know about that either. Pas au One of these Question. gentlemen was arrested in 1975 and the other in 1977. 
They were both intellectuals, Ils étaient tous deux des intellectuels, Hunim et Huyun étaient des intellectuels. Yes, they were intellectuals. Réponse, oui, c'était des intellectuels. Were they Question. people to whom your husband des gens was close? Proche de votre mari. Réponse. Mon Before 1975, Avant 1975, they were close. Ils étaient proches. And after 1975, Et après 1975, how much did Q. Saint-Pont see of them both before, before or shortly after the evacuation of Phnom Penh? Can you help us? Can you help us? It was after the liberation of Phnom Penh. C'était après la libération de Phnom Penh. They did not um, meet with the true. Il ne les a pas revus. Question. According to your testimony or knowledge, when did Q. Sampan last meet with Hu Nim and Hu Yun? Quand Q. Sampan a-t-il vu Hu Nim et Hu Yun pour la dernière fois avant l'évacuation? I never saw him meet them Réponse. or where he met them last. Je ne l'ai jamais vu les rencontrer. As far as you were concerned, would you describe Hu Nim and Hu Yun as some of your husband's closest colleagues because of the history they shared together? Étaient des proches collaborateurs de votre mari en raison de du de leur passé ensemble? On this uh, matter, Réponse. I cannot uh, comment on it because in reality back then I was not a politician and it was not my task uh, to think of it. Uh, my job was confined to uh, kitchen work. I did not know what uh, he, he was doing and the closeness uh, in his working relation with je others, I did not know. When you were talking with your husband at the later point about Hu Nim and Hu Yun, did he say anything to you about nine out of sixteen of his former Grunk and Funk colleagues being arrested and killed? anciens collègues du Grunk et du Funk avaient été arrêtés puis tués? No, others did not Réponse. say anything about it. At that time, I no. saw uh, Hu Nam and Hu Jun. Uh, he uh, talked to me, but as for others, they did not share with me any, anything. They might have known or might not have known. I did not know. And then later on, uh, they came to uh, know it, but I did not know uh, what uh, they had thought about it. Mais je ne savais pas ce qu'ils en pensaient. When your husband was speaking Question. to you about Quand Hu Yun and Hu Nim being Huyun arrested and disappearing, did he say that that had something to do with them being enemy agents? No, he did not discuss Réponse. this with me. Non, he did not discuss the 
uh, reason why uh, it, uh, they arrested them. De leur In all of the time since 1979, Have you ever had one conversation with your husband where you've asked him, husband, what was the reason that so many people died in democratic Kampuchea? Yes, uh, I réponse. did ask him. Je lui ai posé la question. And was one of his replies question. something like this? A-t-il répondu plus ou moins comme suit? People were accused and arrested Des gens ont été because they were agents parce que of the Vietnamese or the CIA or something like that. Ou de la CIA ou bien quelque chose du genre. Réponse. He talked to me in general terms. Il m'a parlé de manière uh, générale. He said people were not properly treated. Uh, those who were evacuated, uh, they had to go traités. on hunger. Il m'a dit and qu'ils avaient uh, he la was faim. wondering and he was also Lui uh, shocked là-dessus. and Il était également horrified upon uh, hearing the news of the salvation of people Après and as for the CIA agent uh, it, they had nothing to do with the ordinary citizens, the CIA. civilians. He told me that uh, these people uh, were not, uh, had nothing to do with CIA. Why did they have to uh, undergo this um, starvation? This is what uh, he used to uh, say with me. In 1981, your husband had an interview with a man called Stephen Hedder. The relevant E number is E3-203. And the entry I refer to is English ERN 0042-4016. French 0043-4236. Khmer Et double zero three eight five four one three through one four. And Mr. Head posed this question, Monsieur and Eder I quote: a posé la question suivante à votre mari. Je vais citer. What I wanted to ask was: at the time, was about anyone who was accused of being either a CIA agent or UN agent? Accusé d'être des agents de la CIA ou des UN. I want to ask if any of them were accused of being UN agents in order to kill them, ont été in order to kill to true patriots. Les tuer Did that happen among the upper echelon? Yes, this is the answer. Et yes, there was a comrade oui. in the West. Il y a eu un he was West. an old man. Un homme âgé. He was accused by the UN Il agents. Été par They les were UN. responsible for that. Eux en They accused him. Ils l'ont accusé. However, Toutefois, they were not successful because we investigated the case nous avons fait in a timely manner. De manière Close quote. Opportune. Fin de citation. Do you know why when your husband was speaking with Mr. Hedder in 1981, he made no mention of being aware of the arrests and disappearances of Hunim and Huyun. Well, generally, when he Réponse. talked 
with me. En général, uh, he only responded parlait, to what I asked him. Il ne and he did not elaborate uh, further because I uh, was not a politician. I was only Je a housewife. Uh, I was a cook. I foyer, uh, did not have any interest in um, the uh, political Et affairs. I did not know uh, who was who and what uh, they did. I qui, was not aware. Has your Question. husband ever mentioned to you a letter written to him from Hunim saying that he, Hunim, Hunim, had been arrested on the 10th of April 1977? And that document is E3 that refers to it. E3 slash 1550. So I repeat the question. Has your husband ever said anything to you about a letter addressed to him from Hunim complaining that he had been arrested on the 10th of April 1977? No, I never heard of it. Why would Hu Nim, having been arrested, be writing a letter to your husband? L'interprète n'a pas entendu le début de la question et donc ne peut pas la traduire. The President, witness, please hold on. An international counsel for Mr. Kyusampong, you may proceed. Pour indiquer que nous n'avons pas eu la question en français, Monsieur le Président. I just want to inform you that we haven't heard the question in French, Mr. President. The President, I think that uh, this is uh, the same issue again. Can you please uh, check with the uh, interpreting team uh, why uh, the interpretation uh, failed to come through? Uh, can you uh, make sure uh, that uh, this work uh, very well? And if there is an issue, any si issue, please uh, address this issue in a timely manner. Il faut y trouver une solution. Your Honor, can I just say for everyone's benefit that yesterday the French interpreters Hier, came to me to say that I wasn't giving sufficient pauses. So I anticipate the problem pause. is mine, Donc je suppose que le and vient I will de now moi. give Et à présent, je vais marquer une pause plus longue. To repeat the question. Je vais répéter la question. Madame Sosotier. Madame Sosotier. Can you help us at all on why Hunim, Shortly after his arrest, Pourquoi Hunim, peu après on son the 10th of April 1977, would be writing to your husband a pu to complain à votre about pour se his arrest. De son arrestation. Pourriez-vous nous aider à ce sujet? The President, um, witness, please hold on. The National Council for Mr. Kuzumpong, you may proceed. Council Kuzumpong, thank you, Mr. President, and good morning, Your Honours. I would like to object uh, to the question raised by the prosecutor because uh, Madame uh, so Suchiet uh, must not know the reason why Mr. Hunam uh, wrote a letter to Mr. Kilson Pond. And the uh, testimony that uh, Madame so Suchiet uh, will be responding uh, to him uh, will be of a speculative nature. And I don't think that uh, the uh, testimony of this kind will not assist uh, the chamber in any way. So I would like uh, Mr. President to uh, direct the uh, prosecutor to avoid uh, from asking a question of this nature. Thank you. Mr. President, given the Monsieur amount of contact that Madame Sosuchia accepts 
occurred between Hunim, Huyun and Q Sampong prior to 1975, according to her evidence. This, in my respectful submission, does not call for speculation, and the evidential foundation has already been set. Les fondements de ma question ont déjà été dûment posés. The President, the objection and ground for objection by the defense team for Mr. Kiu Sampon on the last question put, the, uh, put by the prosecutor is uh, sustained. Um, these questions uh, will um, elicit the uh, speculation of personal uh, opinion of the uh, witness, and that is not appropriate uh, in in the uh, proceedings uh, before us, and therefore, a uh, witness Ce is directed not to respond to the last question uh, posed by the prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President. Madam Sosochiet, document Madame E3-231 is the minutes of a meeting of the Standing Committee du comité on the 8th of March, 1976, which shows that the participants peut voir at the meeting que les participants including, included your les husband, suivants. super comrade Votre Hem, mari, le super camarade Hem, and comrade Poas, ainsi que le camarade who is Poas, who Nim, À savoir, Kunim. Now, did your husband, at any stage, un say to you that he had attended important meetings after 1975 with Hunim? En présence de Hunim? I, I am testifying before this chamber as a witness, and I am telling the court that back then I was not a politician, I was a cook, I was a housewife, I am telling the court what I heard, what I saw at that time, because what you have asked me is beyond my knowledge. Je ne possède pas les informations me permettant de répondre à votre this question. Involves, uh, politics votre question portait sur la politique the job of the politician in the dont s'occupaient les politiques et ceux qui exerçaient le pouvoir. After the arrest question. Of Hunim. Cinq jours après l'arrestation de Hunim, on the 15th of April 1977, your husband gave a second Votre anniversary speech a a that was broadcast on the Plum Pen Home Service. The document is E3-201. 
document E3 bar 201. There is an extract on English page 00419513. Un passage à la page en suivante 00419 95 et en commerce 0029 28045 et votre mari a prononcé les mots suivants que je vais citer We must wipe out the enemy Nous devons éliminer in our capacity as masters car of nous sommes the situation de la situation following the lines of domestic policy en appliquant foreign la policy and military policy of our revolutionary organization la ligne de l'organisation révolutionnaire everything must be done neatly Tout and thoroughly proprement et en profondeur we must not become absent minded Nos careless or forgetful passées because of past victories nous rendre négligents et nous contredire. We must further steel ourselves, nous devons remain nous alert, armer de courage, rester constantly maintain the spirit of revolutionary vigilance, vigilance and continue to fight and suppress all stripes of enemy at all times. Nos ennemis de tous morts en permanence. Did you listen to that broadcast by your husband? entendu à la radio ce discours de votre mari. Réponse. I do not recall. I actually did not Je ne m'en souviens pas. To his speech Je n'ai pas écouté ce discours ou cette Where did he go to make his broadcasts question. after the 17th of April 1975 That I do not know. Réponse, je n'en sais rien. Well, just so that we're clear, question. did he ever say to you that he was off to the offices of the Ministry of Propaganda, where there was a broadcast facility used by the former regime? Did he ever say to you that he was off to the offices of the Ministry of Propaganda, where there was a broadcast facility used by the former regime? Did he ever say to you that he was off to the offices of the Ministry of Propaganda, where there was a broadcast facility used by the former regime? Did he ever say to you that he was off to the offices of the Ministry of Propaganda, where there was a broadcast facility used by the former regime? Of him saying that he was off for that place. Entendu dire qu'il partait. This speech mentions revolutionary vigilance. Il est question ici de la vigilance révolutionnaire. You've used that phrase already in your evidence, haven't you? Vous avez déjà employé cette expression au cours de votre déposition, n'est-ce pas? Je parle de la vigilance révolutionnaire. Réponse. Yes, I have. Effectivement. During the period of democratic Kampuchea from 1975 to 1979, and we know the dates, did you ever, on any conversation, have a single reference between you and Kyu Sampan when you were talking about revolutionary vigilance? La vigilance révolutionnaire. Réponse. My husband and I rarely talk to each other about this task because we had our respective responsibility. Our tasks were completely different. I was confined to the kitchen work. I prepare food and do the laundry, and I had to take care of my kids too. So. 
for the discussion on the matter of this kind uh, was not a common uh, discussion uh, with us. And as a tradition in Cambodia, housewives had to uh, do the housework and we uh, did not interfere into our husband. Uh, work. As a housewife, uh, we were not supposed to know everything our husband uh, had to do. Uh, that's what uh, our tradition dictates uh, over at, at that time. As a housewife, we were confined to our housework uh, and uh, work uh, in the kitchen. From 1975 to 1979, there was uh, discipline. Uh, discipline in relation to the uh, rooming around uh, the place and the discussion of other people's businesses. On and in addition, uh, we were individually busy with our responsibility. And he, Chacun as a husband, in his free time, he also assisted me in taking care of our kids. We did not have time really to discuss matters of this kind in detail. Forgive me for interrupting, but that was a very long answer. But you did discuss it with him. Revolutionary vigilance. You've just said so, haven't you? Réponse. I never discuss uh, revolutionary vigilance uh, with Mr. Kim Pon personally, but it Monsieur was the discipline um, in the workplace that everyone Mais had to be uh, vigilant. They had to be materially vigilant, vigilant, revolutionary vigilant, and in other words, we had to be vigilant at all times. So this was the... Um, principle of discipline which was common in our workplace. Everyone had to be vigilant. Tout le monde devait être vigilant. Okay. When I talked to him, I never discussed revolutionary vigilance. Are you changing your answers as your evidence goes along when you realize you've made a mistake? Quand vous avez compris que vous veniez de commettre une erreur. Uh, please, uh, if I um, change my statement, uh, please uh, make si it known uh, to me, because if I made any savoir, erroneous uh, statement, uh, please uh, advise me. Well, let's Question. just break down what you've told the court this morning. Ce que vous avez dit ce matin. I asked you a very simple Je vous question. Ai posé une question très simple. You accepted that you had vous avez used the phrase revolutionary vigilance, vigilance revolutionnaire. in your evidence. I then asked you if you Ensuite, had discussed this with Q. Sampong, si and you said, we rarely talked about this task. I then asked tâche. you, but you did Ensuite, talk about it, dit que vous en aviez didn't you? Parlé. And your response was, oh no, we didn't talk about et revolutionary dit, vigilance. Non, non, nous pas parlé so you've changed your evidence Autrement within dit, three minutes, haven't you? A changé en l'espace de trois minutes, n'est-ce pas? Okay. Uh, I, I would like to clarify the statement I made earlier. You asked me that there was revolutionary vigilance uh, in place uh, at that time. As I said in my statement, I did uh, discuss revolutionary vigilance, but I discussed it at my workplace. At my workplace, everyone were put on uh, vigilance. I did discuss uh, revolutionary vigilance, but as I said, I uh, discussed these subjects uh, in general uh, because everyone in every workplace, everyone had to be vigilant, but never I had, had I discussed this subject matter with my husband. The document that Judge Laverne referred to being, I think, what you called the family book, 
qui est, je pense, le people, carnet de famille où sont e inscrits les membres des familles. Document E275.8. That this was a document que, that had pense, to be completed un document when you and the other members of your family were moving house, or was it for some other reason? Ou bien était-ce pour une autre raison? Santo. I am sorry, are you referring to the family book or resident book or something? I do not really get your question. Was the family book completed because you were moving house? Est-ce que vous avez dû remplir ce carnet de famille parce que vous avez déménagé? Réponse. Well, when we move uh, to Bordermuth in Thailand, Quand nous avons déménagé vers then we move on to Khon Long. We uh, change nous sommes allés uh, our uh, residence. Au village de Klong. Do I understand the Question. procedure correctly? That when a family is si moving house, bien, documents have to be handed over to a local registrar. Remis à un greffier local. Yes, that's correct. Réponse, oui. Do I have it right that every person Question. over the age of 18 que, comme je le pense, has to provide documentary evidence? to the registrar. Des documents et des attestations à l'officier d'état yeah. civil. Yes, réponse, that is correct. Do I have it right Question, that when pense, the person hands a document to the registrar, there has to be a witness civil, in the room? Un témoin doit être présent dans la pièce. That I do not understand whether or not there was a requirement uh, for a witness to be present. The president, the president. Um, counsel for Mr. Kusumpon, you may proceed. La est à la de counsel Kusumpon, thank you, Mr. President. I am of the opinion that the prosecutor Selon is uh, asking the witness. On the subject that is not uh, the uh, focus uh, of the uh, hearing uh, today, if the prosecutor wishes uh, to know the procedure for uh, the uh, family registration uh, in Cambodia, I believe that uh, he should uh, request the chamber to summon the uh, commune registrar uh, officer uh, to come to testify, because I don't think that she is in the position uh, to de la uh, enlighten the court on this le procedure. Thank you. Mr. President, Mr. President, can I explain that this Mr. questioning Mr. is going to the date of birth of her son, Q. Udon? That was felt to be Udon. an issue of such significance that it was one of the first si issues important. addressed by de direct questioning from his honor, Judge Laverne. La Therefore, any questioning relating to the date of birth donc, of Q. Udom is relevant in this trial. Sur la date de de Q. Udom est it is relevant particularly because, and this will be apparent to everybody in the courtroom, that So So Chiet gave testimony yesterday that the date of so birth so was the 4th of May 1974, and we're now 1974. faced with a document Nous that says it's the 6th of June 1974. This glaring contradiction, contradiction can only be properly assessed 
and you enabled to establish the truth through questioning on que this issue. The President, the objection and ground for objection by the defense team for Mr. Q. Sampon is not appropriate. The chamber wishes to hear uh, the response of this uh, witness in question to the uh, question put by the prosecutor. Witness, please respond to the question. The President, Madame Sochit, do you recall the last Madame question Sochiet, put by the prosecutor? Madame Sochit, uh, could you please repeat it? The President, uh, Mr. Prosecutor, please uh, repeat your last question. I think you partly answered it. But I'm going to ask it again. Je pense que vous y avez déjà répondu en partie, mais je vais poser la question à nouveau. When you were present in front of the registrar, quand vous étiez devant in the registrar's office, au bureau du registre, do you remember somebody else being in the room as a witness? Vous souvenez -vous, to make sure that the procedure went properly. De témoin pour que and I think to sign as a witness. Pour, je pense, apporter, sa signature de témoin. When we got it registered at that time, the procedure was rather brief. Uh, we did not have a witness. There was only the presence of the, uh, the clerk, the commune clerk, and the registrar. And they asked me at that. They told me at that time if I uh, could not recall it very well. I simply put an indicative uh, date uh, first. Uh, so I uh, decided to uh, follow uh, what the date uh, was in the uh, document uh, that we had in our possession because it, to my recollection they told me that if I could not recall the exact date I uh, can simply um, give uh, an approximate uh, date or so that that was the um, birth certificate of my first child and as for my other child we just uh, prepared the birth certificate uh, just in uh, the last uh, few years and we follow it according to uh, their uh, identification card. As for the exact date uh, he was born on the 4th of May 1974. So when we uh, decided on the date, uh, oh. I also uh, sought uh, ideas and opinion of the uh, court clerk, uh, so, uh, rather the commune clerk, the president. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor, and thank you, Madam Witness. Uh, the time is now appropriate for lunch adjournment. The chamber will adjourn now and resume at 1.30 this afternoon. I note uh, the prosecutor is on his feet. You may proceed. Mr. President, forgive me. Can I just uh, ask, please, Mr. President, this? Um, as we all know, um, His Honour Judge Laburn's questioning took up a, a, a large amount of this morning. Um, can I safely assume that I will be allowed that time um, that was taken up with that questioning? And, Mr. President, can I respectfully say that uh, I am 
not very far through my cross-examination notes. The President, the Chamber will definitely uh, allot the time uh, to the uh, parties and as for uh, the uh, questions that may be asked uh, by others other than the parties, then the uh, Chamber will compensate the time uh, so that it make up with the time allocated uh, to each uh, party. So the uh, time uh, that uh, Judge Levin put the question to the uh, witness uh, will be taken uh, from the time allocated to the party. Thank you, Mr. President. Madam Sosajit, according to the schedule on your testimony, we uh, actually uh, scheduled to conclude it this uh, morning, but uh, due to the uh, question uh, asked Mais by the uh, judge uh, of the bench, therefore we cannot conclude it uh, this morning. Therefore, uh, please be advised that uh, your testimony has not yet uh, concluded. Uh, you will be uh, invited to testify this afternoon uh, in order to complete uh, your testimony. Court officer is now instructed to assist the witness uh, during the uh, break and have her return uh, to this courtroom together with uh, her duty council before 1.30 this afternoon. Security guards are instructed to bring Mr. Kilson Pon to the holding cell downstairs and have him return uh, to this courtroom uh, before 1.30 this afternoon. The court is now adjourned. Don't crouch,